Hello and welcome to King Tech Coding Clinic once again. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how we can create a login uh, application that is in MS Excel VBA and also how we can set expiry date into our system and have the users prompted with expiry date. And once the product gets expired, they are requested to or they are asked or they are prompted to enter the activation key and have the activation key entered or maybe contact the developer to get that activation key entered and once the activation key is entered then they have their system fully activated and i want to show you step by step how you can generate unique activation key for your users it's going to be straightforward and fun now let's see what i'm talking about i already created a demo file here which i'll be sharing with you as we progress so let me just launch the application which is called a data entry which that was the form we've already developed so to those who haven't yet watched that video you can check out the link in the video description below and quickly grab the video to watch how to develop this amazing data entry form or if you still have knowledge on how to do that and you just want to learn how to add login form and then expire it as we only show in this video then i think the best thing for you to do is just to pick the practice file and then go ahead and implement what we shall be doing in this video if you already have a project as well you can implement the same thing inside your project it's the same that is so now let me just log in and see what's going to happen so it's an admin there you go so once i log in it says what students data entry application fully activated fully activated because i have activated it okay now what i'm going to do right now is this i'm going to deactivate it and see how it's going to look like okay so now let's show the workbook from here and close this. let's go to the developer tab and come to visual basic here let's go to our model that is the user license model which i'll be sharing with you let's change the date here to let's say 30th with the 30th meaning the system hasn't yet um uh, expired okay so now let's save this now and see what is going to happen so once we save this the next the next changes we're going to do is we navigate to the setting sheet which i'll be showing you what i did over there we come here and then i'll come to this particular range and open it up here and then remove this value here now once i do that it means the system is, is no more activated i can then close the workbook now now let's relaunch it again uh relaunch it from here so once we double click to open this list what's going to happen so we are prompted to log in okay so once we enter the login details i mean and then login it says what the application expire or this application will expire in four days please contact the developer to obtain a new activation key before expiry so once you click on ok so you have the application launched and it says what staff data entry application not activated okay not activated because it's not yet activated but once it is activated and you will surely see that it is activated from this and i'm going to show you step by step how we can write the code to get all these things up and running and the next thing we are going to do or i'm going to show you is that let me go back and change the date again to expire and let's see the prompt we will get from the application so now let's close this now and let's quickly go to developer tab here come to visual basic and come to the models here let's come to user model now let's change the date to expire it to let's say 24th as today is 25th so let's send it 24th now so let's save our projects control s to save let's close this now and let's relaunch the application and let's see the prompt so as it stands now let me just log in admin now it says what the application has expired please enter the activation key to continue so with this prompt what you can do right now is just to contact your developer for him maybe you might you might want to pay him something for him to release the activation key for you to activate your system so i assume that i've just paid my developer and now i have my activation key so i'll just enter it here one two three four that's a simple activation key i've just set and i'll show you i'll give you a formula for you to use to generate unique activation key for your users so that is that once i click on ok it says what activation successful thank you for using this application you click on ok so it says what staff data entry application fully activated simple as that so you can see how fun it is so and i'm going to show you how to do all this so now let's quickly delve right into that let me just close this one from here close this one let's click on save to save our work 
and then we are good to go so now i can close this one so i already have the data entry application developed from here so i have it here so i'll just get a copy of it so let me just right click and copy this one from here copy this and then let me paste it on the desktop so that we can use it i'll be sharing all these things with you in the link in the video description below so now i have this one so first thing first this video is going to be in two parts the first part we're going to be developing the login system so once we are done with that part, the second part then we're going to embed the module for user license or expiry or activation key module so let's see how that is going to happen so let's launch this now so you can see it's now opened no no user from here so it's, it's just showing the data entry forms is data entry form so that is that let me just show a book then we can close this and then we go to developer tab let's come to visual basic here so let's show our models because we have one model so let's go to insert go to user form let's expand it a bit let's change the caption to frm login so let's call it frm login so once we are done let's select it and change the caption here to uh, login form okay yeah, perfect so once we are done select it and let's go to back color here and let's grab a very nice color for it so i think this color is okay so let's expand. let's get a label here and let's get some text inside the label says please enter your username and sorry and password to login perfect so once we are done with that let's select this let's go to our font group let's click on this so let's go to font group. click on this let's go to bold times new roman and then let's give it 14 size of fonts select this let's go to text align and let's center our text so we have that up and running so now let's get another label here and light one simple one from here there we go let's select it let's format it before we create a copy of it so let's quickly uh, come to um, border style let's give it central line right here so let's expand it a bit open it up a bit thank you so now let's come to font group here let's bold it times new roman and we want to give it 12 as well boom so now let's change the caption to to what um username or let's say username and then let's give it a column here and then control c control v to paste it and then this should be something like password yeah password change the caption to password perfect so i think uh, we are good to go so now we can grab our text box so let's grab the first text box from here and just draw it from here like this and then let's format it appropriately let's give it a border style sorry um back yeah border style center line here let's select it and go to the font group as well so let's give it times new roman and bold it and give it font to be 12. so that is that so select it control c and control v to paste and keep it here so now let's select this select this select this when you select the person press and hold control the keyboard while selecting the rest so let's put them in the middle perfect i think still not yet sent them well. perfect now let's grab our command button so we have the big command button here for login so we can select this and then let's change the caption to login and then let's change the id to cmd login perfect so now let's format it appropriately let's go to the um back color here let's give it a deep uh, maybe deep green color here yeah, i think this is okay let's go to the fonts group and format the button so bold we want to give it um 14 then times new roman then click on okay so login so we need two more buttons control c control v control v again so let's drag this one and put it here sorry let's keep it here 
so let's select it and let's quickly change the caption to um reset and let's change the color to something like this um let me see this back color let's give it something like uh, this blue here i think that is okay and then a four color here i think let's give it something like white something like this let's bring it this way let's bring this one here sorry let's bring this one here as well adjust it to see this one or oh, let's delete this one delete it so i make up of this one control c control v put it this way select it and let's change the caption to exit okay exit so select it again let's go to back color and give it a red color and that is okay so now we can arrange them well so that is okay so select this one this one is uh, command button one so now let's change it back again i because i made a copy of it this one is now a login so let's select this one let's name it cmd login sorry yeah i already have cmd login which is this one so what i'm going to do is this select this one select this one let's name it cmd reset reset okay now this one can now take its name cmd login cmd login and then this one can now go for cmd exit okay so once we are i think we are okay cmd exit cmd reset cmd login now let's select the password let's come to the properties panel here let's locate password char press shift on your keyboard and press 8 to get this exterior sign here so that the password wouldn't be showing so once we type in this so we have the password showing in this uh, form so perfect there we go so now let's close this and come back to our form so the first thing we are going to do is um double click on this reset so the first line of course is unload me and then the second one frm login dot show okay we just want to close and then open the form as usual so these two lines is okay let's come to exit with exit just one line of code saying unload me then we are good to go as well so let's quickly go back to the user form again now with the login okay so we need to declare some variables so we say dim username as string and then dim password as also string so we are going to assign the username a source where it's coming from and then the password where the password is coming from so it's a username is equal to text box one dot sorry text box one dot um, dot text okay sorry dot value dot value and then password is equal to text box two dot value as well okay what we are saying is that let's see about when the username is coming from this which is text box one then the password is coming from this which is text box two so take note of that so now we make our decision so if username is equal to we say a string so give it double inverted comment so admin and password is equal to whatever number you want to give let me give it this way it's also equal to this then let's give and if then we would want something to happen if the username and password is if the username is admin and password is one two three four meaning that the login details is correct so we want to give them message so we give them message box so message box and then we open the parenthesis here and we say what uh, login successful okay something like this vb information so once we are done all we want to do is this we say me dot me dot hide me dot hide means that the user form should go hidden and then once the user form is hidden we would then want to show let me show you something here you can see that initially without the login form we were showing the hiding the application and showing the data entry form right now still the application will be hidden again 
and then what we can do is to show the login form sorry the login form from here instead of the data entry so let's do this from here now so me dot hide then we would want to show frm data entry dot show so once we hide the user form we would want to show frm data entry else else means that if nothing happens meaning that maybe if your login details is not correct then we'd want to give you a message so it's a message box there's an invalid login or invalid username or sorry or password close this then vb click ticker okay so this it will give you a strong warning telling you that invalid password so once that happens and um, that is how it's going to end there, and then you'll be given a chance to re-enter your password once again so with this our user form is set and up and running so what we need to do right now is to go to my uh, this workbook double click on this and remove this and here what we would want to show is frm login now frm login dot show instead of the frm data entry we want the login form to show and we log in before we can have access to our workbook now let's we are done so let's go through our codes once again sorry login so we can see that we just declare variables from here and then we set them to where they'll be coming from and then we confirm to check if username and password if they are equal to what we've just assigned here then login successful then me dot hide then we show the data entry form else invalid username or password so let's close our project here and let's rerun it now and see what's going to happen okay so here we can then log in sorry we can then log in so here sorry once we are done, we click on login, say login successful. So you can see that the data entry form has now shown after we login in successful, meaning that we just created our login form just like that without any problem, without any stress. So, like I said in this lesson, what we shall be doing is just to create our login form, which we have done. So we will end this tutorial here, follow step by step to create a login form for your application. If you already have a login form for your application, although we have advanced login forms, which I'll be showing you how to create them, that is with the uh, option to reset your password and all that. I'll be showing you how to do all that as we progress. But for now, we'll end this one here. And then in our next lesson, or in the part two of this, I'll show you how we can write the macros to add expiry dates and stuff to the project so till then say thank you so much so don't forget to save your work once again and don't forget of your username and password always keep them in the head we'll be needing them as we progress please if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button please give us a comment tell us what you want and we'll try as much as possible to provide videos for that also share our videos please share share so that others will also enjoy thank you so much for our next lesson bye